Hello and welcome to a science break video for Key Stage 3 Chemistry. We're looking at types of reaction and there's three types we're going to look at today. The first one is called combustion. Combustion and this basically means burning. It's a very important type of chemical reaction. It's a very important reaction. We all use this every day either directly or indirectly. So one of the things that it does is release energy and what is that energy for well the first thing is for heating your home is very likely to be heated uh, by a combustion reaction it's used for transport things like petrol diesel all that stuff is uh, used using combustion reactions in engines and a major major use is generating electricity we burn fossil fuels they go through combustion a combustion reaction to generate electricity so we can write what's called a general equation for combustion. Fuel plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water. Fuel plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water. It's probably worth mentioning here that we burn, we do burn a lot of fuels. There is a lot of combustion going on of fuels that produces carbon dioxide. And remember, carbon dioxide is counted as a greenhouse gas. It's a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change very potentially. We've got fuel. Now the fuel is not a chemical. We can have a whole bunch of different fuels that can go in there. Coal, oil, natural gas. All of these are fuels that can burn. Natural gas is methane, so that can burn. And if we did an equation for that reaction, it would be methane plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water. So that second equation at the bottom there, that's actually more of a chemical reaction because it names the actual chemical there in the fuel as methane. So the fuel is methane there, and that's a word equation for the combustion of methane. And just there on the right hand side, you can see a common way we burn methane in a Bunsen burner. So the next type of chemical reaction we're going to look at is called thermal decomposition. Thermal decomposition. Now the first thing to remember about this is the word thermal here, often used in science, that's, that relates to heat. And decomposition usually means to do with a breakdown of a chemical. So thermal decomposition is the breakdown of a substance into two or more other substances two or more other substances. Please, please remember this is not burning. Thermal decomposition is not the same as burning. It's not the same as combustion. Burning is when something actually catches fire. This is heating. One example we can use is that of the thermal decomposition of copper carbonate. There's copper carbonate in our boiling tube there being heated up by a combustion reaction incidentally. So it's being heated, it's not being burned. So we heat this up, it breaks down into two substances. The first new substance that we get is copper oxide. And copper oxide is black, copper carbonate is green. And we also get the production of carbon dioxide gas. So this is a thermal decomposition reaction. And the way we would write this, is copper carbonate with an arrow. Sometimes we write the word heat over the arrow. It makes copper oxide and carbon dioxide. So this is a thermal decomposition reaction. We could write a formula equation for this as well. We haven't really started working with those yet, but if we did here, we've got copper carbonate breaks down to copper oxide and carbon dioxide. It's probably worth introducing what we call state symbols here. So in little brackets, we've got these little letters. S stands for solid and G stands for gas. So that we know copper carbonate is a solid, copper oxide is a solid, and the carbon dioxide is a gas, often used in chemical uh, reaction equations. The final reaction we want to look at is something called oxidation, and it's quite a common one we deal with in chemistry. And oxidation is a type of reaction that involves the addition of oxygen. So a substance reacts 
with oxygen. Substance reacts with oxygen, and often this is the idea of the addition of oxygen in a chemical reaction to that substance. A common example is when we react metals with oxygen. A lot of metals can react with oxygen. So metals often react with oxygen. And we can write this out in a kind of general equation as well. We can say that metal plus oxygen, metal plus oxygen, gives or reacts to produce a metal oxide. Uh, worth mentioning here that when oxygen reacts with a substance and becomes part of a compound, the word oxygen becomes oxide. We can do one example. So, for example, if we have magnesium reacting with oxygen, that's just a simple case of becoming magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide. So ma magnesium reacts with oxygen to become magnesium oxide. Worth noting also that a combustion reaction is an example of an oxidation reaction. So when we looked at a combustion reaction at the beginning, this was also an oxidation reaction because there was a reaction with oxygen. So that's pretty much it. We can summarize the three examples of chemical reactions that we've looked at. The first one was combustion. This means burning. The second one was thermal decomposition. This is not burning, but it's the breakdown of a chemical by heating it. And then we had oxidation, which was the addition or the reaction with oxygen. So that's pretty much it. Three very important examples of types of reaction. Remember, combustion is an example of an oxidation reaction. But these are three important examples of reactions that we will look at more in chemistry as we go along. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.